intriguing with the importance of Christian education. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, how can I unless someone guides me? Acts 8, 30 and 31. Although the eunuch had been to worship, he realized he needed someone to teach him about God's word. The ultimate purpose of all Christian education is to bring those who are taught into a relationship with Jesus Christ, then to equip them to grow in this relationship for the rest of their lives, as well as being a godly influence in the lives of others. This is a great commission. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Clarence H. Benson says, the progress and permanency of Christianity has been dependent upon a program of education. When we are educated in the things of God, then we can each one, reach one, teach one, just as Philip taught the Ethiopian that day. We would love for you to join us at Mount Olive Baptist Church in our 8 or 11 a.m. service. We're located at 1313 Country Club Road, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We're connecting with God's people because at Mount Olive Baptist Church, everybody is somebody.